Hey guys, welcome to our review of Lupat episode number 37. As always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos. Here with me today, we have. And Mako Toa. Great, guys! Welcome back. We just got done watching this. We had a good time! It's good! I liked it. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah, definitely. Um, and uh, I, I feel like my level of enjoyment is proportional to the amount of yelling that uh, that Re or Ichigo does. <laughs> In an episode, minus how got many times uh, the minus how many times blue glares at somebody. <laughs> and we got a lot of that, so that was great. Yeah. Mine is also inversely proportional to the amount of screen time that uh, what's his name? Oh, well. Don't even care. No, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He only. <laughs> We only got to see him contemplate a couple of times, and that. And was... he did. He yeah. did good for once. Like he was like, "Hey, no, 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 yo, guys, this is a Pat Rangers episode. Don't." Go <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's true. Huh? Yeah. So it's a, it's a good turnaround. I I did kind of want like what you guys were saying. If you got like hit with a home beam if he just got sent home. Yes. <laughs> so that he wouldn't get the power up next week and Ichigo would instead. Uh, yeah. We'll get into my issues with that next week, but uh, you know, I'm... I'm uh, this episode was a lot of fun. It was mainly... It was Keichiro based, but it, it had a lot more like, hey, remember this Kyrie stuff? You know, and bringing that to the forefront. I mean, and also it was like developing each go is like, oh yeah, I I've kind of like been catching on to this the whole time, bringing up relevant moments and being like, hey, it, while he was a little bit like Snoopy, and he he sort of just barged in uh, to their place of business. It, I enjoyed it. You know, I yeah. actually thought that it fit like. It wasn't outside the realm of uh, possibility that Blue was like, I don't know, ask him yourself, <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, <laughs> he didn't, yeah. didn't want to deal with uh, Ichigo, so he's just like, yeah, go ask him yourself. Oh, wait, whoops. <laughs> yeah. But, like, the thing that slightly bothers me about this, and I hate that it bothers me because it's such a dumb plot contrivance, is that, like, he just lets him stay there. Like, well, no. Why would you let him stay there? <laughs> at all i don't know maybe he misses his brother so much that he kind of wants to keep him around because he regrets you know pushing him i mean the... he was watching him all night <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a bit weird he's like oh man yeah. what if he like snoops into my room and finds my gun <laughs> <laughs> i don't know but uh what he was like actually looking out for but i don't know i felt like it was really it was a really fun episode because like yeah. the characters were actually just like acting like themselves mm -hmm. like they were kind of like forced into yeah. like acting a certain way and it was like really yeah. fun especially with like Keitro because like the way he pulls off some of his gags like that cheeky ass fucking grin he has <laughs> <laughs> he's just sold it like that much more and mm -hmm. I, I love seeing stuff like that yeah uh, th this had all the hallmarks of their, like, what made their characters good. Um, yeah. And it hit them just right and for a sustained period throughout the episode, so I'm I'm very happy with that. I feel like it's the longest we've had, like, these character moments. It's you know, the we longest get... we've had an enjoyable episode before. Yeah, we've had these character moments sprinkled once or twice you know if we're lucky an episode and then this episode just had a lot of it and i i was like man i this is what i wish the show had been like since the beginning but yeah like early on th this feels like an early on situation and it was a it's a it's an odd framing device for why this is happening but i really liked it 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 brought out a lot of character in everyone Mm -hmm. Like the go home thing, it brought out Kyrie's character in, in how he has no home. It brought out Keichiro's character, wherein 
he pretty much has no like he is so dedicated to the job you know and we get to see that expressed in his actions mm -hmm. and i don't know like this, su like such small but meaningful character points to hit and i really enjoyed it yeah and like that was probably like the crux of the episode as well like mm -hmm. they weren't like overly involved with whatever the villain was doing like he mm -hmm. just kind of set up their own personal problems and yeah, that was the type of stuff that I like actually liked, and uh, I feel like that's how this show's supposed to work. Yeah, you know, like we have a and... very strong cast, or like a really they have like a high potential because of, like yeah. the way that it's like set up. They're on two different teams, so when mm -hmm. we have like those two characters kind of like cross over and kind of like mix and like go back to their own teams and kind of develop like mm -hmm. separately and together. This yeah. is like the first time we've seen uh, Ichigo and Blue like have a legit discussion. <laughs> I mean, legit discussion, as in Ichigo just talking and Blue going like, "I don't know, figure it out yourself." <laughs> I mean, that's so, all you're gonna get. Yeah, out that's of him. Blue really, is, yeah. is in a talkative guy, so it's kind of like, yeah, yeah that's a conversation. You made and, progress. You know, the villains, like the main villains didn't appear outside of Goshu, and they weren't missed. No. Right? No, they weren't. I'm yeah. glad that we didn't have that, like, every episode, oh, this guy's up to his old tricks again. I'm yeah! To see what he's doing. Like, to weirdly hype up a one-note villain? Like, we don't need it, and I'm glad we didn't do it. I feel like it's because they actually had story to tell, so they didn't have time yeah. for it. They cut it out. It's like, good yeah as it should yeah. be <laughs> <laughs> yeah also this episode was directed by a different person was oh, it really gosh no wonder. it it shows wow the other person is just phoning it in every episode then shoot i don't know like maybe they have like their budget director uh, the budget directors who kind of can work with like limited material and maybe like bring uh, in some other people i don't know it doesn't feel like yeah it's i not. mean like to me to be fair you know these guys work nonstop. <laughs> they don't take too many breaks because Sentai goes forever. <laughs> it doesn't stop unless there's some sort of weird holiday or golf. So, <laughs> or tennis. Uh, or tennis. <laughs> yeah. 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 Huh. No, I don't know. I'm I'm weirdly I'm weirdly pleased with this, and I'm glad we watched it after uh, the Rube. Uh, uh, clip show, yeah, yeah, yeah. really good, yeah. Stuff. guys. Are you are you good here? Yep, yeah. All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. Uh, tell us in the comments down below what you thought of this episode, and hey, keep it juicy. See ya later. I keep forget. This is the last show that we're doing. Oh, we're doing Gridman, but. I keep forgetting to to talk about the shirts. Oh. That's the thing that happened. Guys, we made each of us made a whole $3 profit off of that and that's thanks to you. <laughs>